All right, we're solving AMC 12B, problem number nine. Okay, so I drew this shape out in enlarged right here. So we have easier time solving this question. We're given this is an equilateral triangle so that of side length six. So that's 60 degrees, 60 degrees, 60 degrees. All right, so if we draw the height of this equilateral triangle, so we just draw the height down like that, it bisects this side. So that would be side three, side length of three. And this also bisects the angle. So that will be 30 degrees right there okay uh if we draw triangle aoc out so triangle aoc out over here uh we can see that this is actually an isosceles triangle so this will be sine length of 30 as well 30 degrees so 30 degrees 30 degrees right here that will make this 120 degrees in the middle now since this line r bisects this angle because we could also see that because if we draw some more lines out here like R and R, we see that these triangles, these two triangles, they're symmetrical to each other. So um, this will be 60 degrees, that would be 60 degrees, 120 divided by two. So that's 30 degrees, that's 60 degrees, that will be 90 degrees right here. So a right angle right there. Okay, so now we established tr this triangle is a 30 60 90 triangle so that would be extremely helpful for us to solve all right we are given that this is side length of three that's a right angle and that's 30 degrees and since this total is 60 degrees that is 30 degrees right there and that would be 60 degrees right there so we could find what this side length is we could find out what side length oc is because we're given um that's three that's 30 degrees and that's 60 degrees so we could do, um, let's call this H, uh, cosine 30 equals uh, 3 over H, H equals 3 over cosine 30, which is square root of 3 over 2, which will be um, 6 over square root of 3. So our so length OC is 6 square root of, over 6 square root of 3, sorry about that. And we're also given that this is an isosceles triangle, because this is radius R, if we draw this over here, that's radius R again, but this is 60 degrees and isosceles triangle. That means this must be 60 degrees right here. And that must mean this must be 60 degrees right here because this one, a total number of degrees in the triangle is 180, 60 plus 60 plus 60 is 180. So we see that this is actually a equilateral triangle. So that makes solving this even easier since this is equilateral triangle and we know the side length of OC, we know R is actually equal to Six over root three so r equals six over root three then r squared would be 36 over three which is 12 and they want us to find the area of a circle that passes through aoc so this circle this green circle this big green circle right here and since we know the radius of this big green circle to be the radius squared of it to be 12 our answer would be 12 pi or answer choice b